Where is Springsteen? I'm going down. The original recording is in A. It's not quite standard pitch, so you'd need to um, tune to the recording if you wanted to play along with it. The live versions are being played in B, so there's a capo at the second fret. The chords, and you're only really playing the bottom two or three strings of each chord, with a bit of light palm muting, are A. So you can just use your first finger across the second fret, because you're only really playing the five and the four, and sometimes the five, four, three, but just make sure that you're not catching the top two strings. E, same, F sharp minor, I'm using a full bar. When you watch Bruce playing it live, he's hucking his thumb over to catch that second fret on the sixth string, whichever is um, more convenient for you. And then D. I'm not playing the first string, I'm letting my third finger rest against it, just to make sure I don't accidentally catch it. The strumming pattern for this one is straight down strokes with a bit of palm muting, and start with um, straight eighths. So, But the accenting is on the um, and of the two, so. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. and that might take a bit of practice if you're new to it, but that would then give you A more acoustic version, if you wanted to play it, would just be the four chords. Full A, E, F sharp minor, and then D. And if you use a sort of down, up, down, up, up, down, up pattern, that really matches the accented strokes as well in the palm muted version. And that would give you Strangely, it does actually sound quite good as well if instead of using the E, you use the E sus4, which basically means that that A note on the third string is constant throughout all of the chords. I'll just play it through once like that. I'm not sure why it sounds good, but it does seem to, but this to me anyway. Good luck with this one, hope it makes sense.